The next pattern in the Making Method Calls Simpler series is called Remove Setting Method. The motivation here is that you have a field that should be set at creation time and never altered, and so you'll just want to remove any setting method for that field. Now in the original code in the book, we didn't have these auto-implemented properties in Java from over a decade ago, and so the setting methods were much more manual and you could just remove the setting method, although the backing field could still be set internal to the class itself. Here the approach is a, a little quicker. We could just make that setter private and the backing field can still be set by the by the class itself. So we haven't really lost or gained any functionality there. It's just how we would do it with a auto-implemented property. Well, let's say we had a manually implemented property. Let's call this private string ID and let's manually implement this property. In this case this would be a lot closer to the original code. We would just remove the setter and then here we would have to make this modification to modify the backing field instead of the property. Now as you see here this is the only constructor for this object and so this ID is required when the object is constructed and the idea behind this pattern is that this ID is never going to change during the life of this object. Now what if maybe there's some additional logic that goes here for some reason. Let's say we want to do that. There's just some logic. We're not really sure why, but that's why it's doing it. And so here, if we wanted to get rid of this setter, then we would have to perform that logic here instead. Now for more complex logic, that might start to get a little ugly in the constructor. And so what we might do as an example here is create this private method which will initialize the ID. Could initialize lots of things about the class. And here we would move that logic. And in the constructor we might just call initialize ID. Now it doesn't make much of a difference with this simple example, but if the constructor logic is starting to get a lot more complex, then that's certainly an option to move things to another function here. And this also continues to sort of make it obvious to anyone using this class, as the class itself grows, that this is an initialization here, that this should only happen when it's constructed and shouldn't happen at any other time. But that's just a naming uh, a, a naming flag here. There's no actual compiler enforcement for this. But ultimately, the purpose of this refactoring isn't to try to prevent the object itself from modifying its own fields, but to prevent an external object from modifying its fields. And that's what we've done. And that's it for remove setting method. Thanks for watching.